from virtual devices. So we had talked about that. So we have these virtual devices. Consider them sort of a network-based hypervisor. Mm -hmm. So we can take a single uh, physical device, break it up into a number of logical devices, very similar to what you're seeing with the virtual machines. On this box, I've created three of them. So I'm just going to look here, show virtual device. Mm -hmm. We've got three of them, one for database and one for web. Uh, you can assign ports to these, uh, let's see the membership. So if you look down, actually let's, Jimmy, if you look down at the bottom part of the screen, you've got uh, VDC uh, DB and uh, VDC name web. So those are just two different um, uh, virtual devices, and they both have so, interfaces. So VDC is virtual device context? Context, okay. correct. Well, this is the, I mean, this is the next step, right? I mean, we've talked yeah. about virtualizing servers to, to, and, and virtualizing devices. Now we're actually virtualizing networking equipment. Correct, and we can switch to one. So let's just say switch to a virtual device database. So we've got a bunch of database servers huh. here. Now these that are, is awesome. These are independent and isolated. They have all their own processes. So if you run spanning tree in one virtual device, it's not the same spanning tree process that's running in the other uh, virtual device. So if a problem affects one, it doesn't impact the other. So now you can have different service level arrangements or agreements uh, on the same switch. You can truly virtualize your environment. And as we're developing this, we want to reach, make this reach all the way into the server. So we can develop wow. a single physical topology, arbitrary number of logical